Okay, here we go. Geniuses on the internet again. So, as we may or may not know, I'm sure all of you know, Windows XP, this is Windows 7 I'm using here, Windows XP lost support from Microsoft in 2014, and you didn't get any security updates, all that shit, and everyone's like, Oh my god, you're gonna, if you use Windows XP past this date, you're gonna get viruses and there's gonna be, you know, you're gonna get hacked, everything's gonna get stolen instantly. Well, I know many people who still use Windows XP on a daily basis. Um, I know Jordan Yu has covered this same topic. And I use Windows XP on a daily basis. My file server that all my stuff is stored on, if I go here and go to documents, all of this you'll see here is on a network, right? All of this. And we're being really slow for some reason. But you can see it's all stored on a separate um, server. That is Windows XP. That is connected to the internet. I have my, my media PC, which I normally use for playing music or watching YouTube and stuff over there, and I don't know what I'm saying over there because you can't see. It is Windows XP, and I use it on a daily ba basis connected to the internet. I have a PC that I have up for a clock, which is connected to the internet for the time. Um, it is running Windows XP. My main laptop is running Windows XP. I have multiple computers, and by multiple, I mean in reality probably close to 20 computers that run Windows XP, and I use all of them on the internet. Not all of them on a daily basis, but they all get used. But I do use several computers with XP on the internet on a daily basis, and I have been doing so for the nine, nearly ten years that Microsoft has quit supporting Windows XP. However, of course, there's always the people go, Oh, you're going to get a virus. You're, you're, you're going to get hacked. You don't even have to do anything. Just turn the computer on. It's going to explode. And um, I always respond to these people with the same thing. Okay, give me a real-world example with evidence of a time, I'm only asking for one, of a time where somebody was was hacked or got infected with malware, spyware, whatever, simply because they were using Windows XP, or at this point Windows 7 is in the same boat, um, simply because they were using an out-of-dated operating system. Now, I should also mention that Windows 98, Windows Millennium Edition, all those don't count because they're completely different. I forget exactly, but there's some sort of security thing that they don't have that XP does, a ping response or something. So those can, th those I would not put on the internet. But Windows XP, give me an example, a real-world example with evidence of a time that somebody got hacked or got malware or a virus or what have you simply because they were using Windows XP. Now I'm not talking about your grandmother who doesn't know how to use a computer and happened to click on something and download something and they got a virus. I'm not talking about your 13 year old kid who was looking at inappropriate videos online and got a um, ad for certain male enhancement pills and happened to click on that and get a virus. I'm not talking about any user error which caused it because I'm not saying there's not a larger risk in getting Windows X a virus on Windows XP if you do something like that. Say you, know, say you were using Windows 10 and you did something stupid, you might have a bit more protection than you did if you were using Windows XP. But that's not the point. Somebody using a computer for normal stuff, visiting re reputable sites, give me an example, not just a, you know, it's going to happen. Oh, yeah, 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 it happens all the time. Because I hear people say it happens all the time. If it happens all the time, give me an example of when it happened. If, if, a, if a problem's bad enough, Microsoft will fix it. Um, WannaCry is a great example of that. So, here we go. Here's some more of these people, and here's the other thing they respond with. So... The original question was, do you still use Windows XP as your main operating system? 
If so, if not, whatever. It's, um, how long do you plan on continuing to do it? This guy says, I'd say around five minutes after connecting to the internet before you have malware on your PC unless you know how to harden your OS and network. So I said the same thing. Give me a, um, give me a good example of someone, and, and, and here we go. They can't. But they're not just going to come out and say that. Create a honey put. Oh, I can't talk. With Windows XP in there, ha watch how long you start to collect malware samples. So once again, yep, typical response. I want an example of a real-world situation where somebody was using it on a normal machine, proper firewall, which all networks have, anti, uh, proper anti-malware, using the computer for normal purposes, not some cock cockamamie hypothetical, which is what they all give. Here's another one. Uh, you do realize that hackers can, or already are, have a field day with that. Does nobody on Reddit consider, well no, Reddit's a fucking cesspit. Does nobody on Reddit consider security is still a concern? Um, here we go, I think I said the same thing. Yeah. Basically, give me a good example. And then this person, or somebody else responded, this person just said whatever. Um, and then this person said, hello, like I'm an idiot, hello, hook up your Windows XP on the internet, open port, and tell me your IP. Okay, that is an absurd request. Um, nobody has random ports open. Everybody is behind a firewall, unless they disable it. In this case, I'm behind two. I have Windows firewall and my router has a firewall and it's not a cheap walmart one it's actually a quality one so everyone's behind a firewall i have proper anti-malware and uh yeah so once again somebody comes up with some random shit like this just to be like oh you're an idiot if you do this then if you if you go out of your way and do this and then tell me your ip address i could easily hack you okay at that point i'm going out of my way to get hacked but Nobody can hear it. No one will hear it. Once again, I'm not saying there isn't an increased risk. I'm just saying that if you're using your computer for normal purposes, you are most likely going to be fine. But everyone is so brainwashed, they act like, Oh my god, you have that computer there? It's gonna, ex it's gonna explode. It's gonna kill you all. You're gonna, get, you're gonna get all sorts of viruses the second you turn it on. Well... I've been using Windows XP for nine, like I said, nearly ten years now, on the internet on a daily basis, and up until, oh, what was it, uh, 2021, I think it was, I used Windows XP as my main operating system on my main computer, and then I switched to Windows 7, and by then, <laughs> Windows 7 was no longer supported, um, so, you know, I've been using an unsupported, oh boy, oh no, it's out of support, it's an uh, unsupported operating system for nearly 10 years now, and absolutely nothing has happened. And I am not the only one. There are plenty of people who don't want to put up with the latest Windows 10 bullshit, and before you all start in, oh, use Linux, Linux, oh my god, start jumping up and down and screaming about Linux. Shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear about Linux. I'm tired of hearing about goddamn Linux. I don't want it, okay? I use Linux on certain occasions, but I'm not using Linux. It's not happening. Until I am no longer able to use what I am currently using, which will likely be at least another decade, I have no plans on changing it for anything else. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.